It is election season in India. The ruling Bharatiya Janata Party seems well placed to win a third term. The Congress, meanwhile, has its back against the wall. And amid that, Rahul Gandhi has chosen to hit the streets a second time. Now, does the Congress think the steps will translate into votes? Then it might need to rethink that. The walk, after all, began with a bang, but it looks like it will end with a whimper. After last year's Bharat Jodo Yatra, or Unite India March, Rahul Gandhi is leading another road trip. This one is called the Bharat Joro Nyay Yatra. For our global audience, Nyay means justice. The theme of the second edition of this journey is justice. The journey began on the 14th of January from Manipur and it was scheduled to conclude on the 20th of March in Mumbai. But it now may come to an end at least a week earlier than planned. And why is that? Well, because the Congress had decided, has decided to skip most of the western districts in the state of Uttar Pradesh. The Yatra was scheduled to enter the state this week. Rahul Gandhi was supposed to spend 11 days in Uttar Pradesh. It is a politically crucial state. 80 Lok Sabha seats are at stake, even more so for the Congress, because it has failed to make a mark here in the last two lower house elections. And it seems to be on the same path this time around as well. Rahul Gandhi's uh, yatra was uh, to pass through 28 constituencies. This included Prime Minister Narendra Modi's seat, Varanasi, Raibareli, Amneti, Allahabad, Fulpur, and Lucknow. But now, according to reports, the journey would skip most of the Western UP in districts. It will travel directly from Lucknow to Aligarh and then to Agra before entering Madhya Pradesh. Why has Rahul Gandhi decided to leave Western Uttar Pradesh out of his itinerary? Has the Congress given up hope or is it trying to save face? Because interestingly, there are reports that Congress's India bloc partner, Rashtriya Lok Dal, which has a strong presence in Western UP, has now joined hands with the National Democratic Alliance. You see, something similar happened last month as well when the Bharat Jodo Nyayatra was about to enter the state of Bihar. Chief Minister Nitish Kumar of the JDU refused to be a part of it. He was an ally, he was an ally of the opposition bloc at that time. But shortly after this snub, he also switched loyalty to the National Democratic Alliance, the NDA. Now, is the same going to happen in Western UP as well. Is that why the Congress has decided to save its breath and exclude the constituencies from the journey? Sources close to the Congress are saying otherwise. They have said that the decision was nothing, has nothing to do with the political developments. But what is the reason then? Apparently, the Congress wants to slow down the Yatra. It wants to ensure that Rahul Gandhi gets more time to interact with groups on the way. Now, it's up to you if you want to buy that. But the truth of the matter is, the desperation in the Congress camp is growing loud. Many leaders who are perceived to be close to Rahul Gandhi have already quit. So have some old timers. The two Yatras and Rahul's Mass Connect programs were supposed to help the Congress revive its fortunes, but will they actually do that? Is the million dollar question here. The journey is ill timed and seems to be more harm than good for Rahul Gandhi and his party. Analysts saying such Yatras are good PR, they are meant to bring electoral benefits, but in the case of the Bharat Joro Nyay Yatra, the reverse is happening. The India bloc is slowly collapsing. The Janata Dal United has snapped ties. The Trinamool Congress and the Amati Party decided to contest alone. In another setback to the alliance, the Rashtra Lok Dal also ditched it for the NDA. And Rahul Gandhi's long absence from the national capital just ahead of the elections is not going to help. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.